What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. We don't often get to report on good news these days. Seems to be a lot of a dark, swirling black news cycle with death and destruction and horrible votes in the House of Representatives. But it is our very much joy and honor to bring you real good news today. New Mexico prosecutors intend to recharge Alec Baldwin with involuntary manslaughter for rust shooting. Additional facts have come to light. Like, for instance, how would somebody get shot out of Alec Baldwin's gun without him shooting them? That don't make no sense. As somebody who appreciates the Second Amendment and practices the Second Amendment and knows a great deal about firearms uh, that I own, well, they don't just... The, the guns don't shoot themselves. The guns are a tool and the person is the weapon. And Alec Baldwin was a very bad weapon uh, in this regard. Baldwin shot and killed Hyanna Hutchins. <laughs> Thank you, Daily Mail, for just hopping <laughs> right out. Right with it. Bal Baldwin shot and killed Hyanna Hutchins on the Rust set in Santa Fe in October 2021. He always maintained that it was an accident and he bears no responsibility. Prosecutors have dismissed charges against him in April, but said that they reserve the right to charge him again. And Alec Baldwin has been charged. Again, New Mexico's prosecutors intend to recharge Alec Baldwin with involuntary manslaughter, fatally shooting a uh, uh, cinematographer, Hyanna Hutchins, on the set of Rust. The special prosecutors charged in the case confirmed that they are seeking new charges. They said additional facts have come to light, and they intend to put the case before a grand jury sometime in the next two months. If convicted, Baldwin could face over a year in prison, 18 months, along with a bunch of other stuff. So Alec Baldwin and his... Uh, interesting family dynamic there with her, uh, with his crazy wife, uh, who's, I think not apparently his wife, who's like not actually Spanish. She like fakes being Spanish and sp speaks with a fake accent. It's crazy, crazy. All of it's crazy. You shouldn't trust these people. What I'm saying is you shouldn't get your value system from these people. These people are nuts. These people are insane. They're not grounded in reality. And they clearly don't know how firearm works, even though they're making a Western th with the, uh, obtuse use of firearms. So here's a photo. This is a poor Hyanna Hutchins who lost her life. Uh, and here's Baldwin. And so they're making a fetishized uh, Western where everyone's shooting everyone, right? But they don't know the first thing about firearm safety. So here's Alec Baldwin at the time in an ABC News interview on this, of course, going to his favorite synth network that would totally lavish him with all the questions for Alec Baldwin to try and lie to the American public about his killing of one of his own cast members or one of his own crew members. Alec Baldwin said, I don't know. I don't know how it all happened. I certainly didn't pull the trigger. Huh? Wait, what? Ordered by authorities not to say anything publicly about the shooting, and yet here he is. <laughs> Plus, the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Department says Alec Baldwin, quote, fired the gun. Now Baldwin says he didn't. Watch. It wasn't in the script for the trigger to be pulled. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So no. you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. Now, it's unclear if Baldwin goes on to offer some explanation as to how the gun discharged or whether Stephanopoulos pressed him on it, but he did ask about the bullet itself. Watch. What did you think happened? How did a real bullet get on I, that set? I have no idea. Someone put a live bullet in a gun, a bullet that wasn't even supposed to be on the property. Now, the armorer on set was Hannah Gutierrez Reed, who told investigators she loaded the gun with five dummy rounds, but there was a sixth round that would not go in, so she cleaned it and then added the sixth round. Gutierrez Reed has also alleged through her lawyers this might be sabotage. And through all of this, remember that Baldwin is already the subject of a criminal investigation. He was also a producer on the movie, which has opened him up to lawsuits filed by crew members alleging negligence. 
So let's go ahead and review Alec Baldwin saying, I never pulled the trigger. I never had my finger on the trigger. Let's, let's watch the actual footage from the set. Here's Alec Baldwin. This is the shot. And then he pulls out the gun very clumsily, I might add. And his finger is on the trigger of the firearm. So Alec Baldwin, this is of course a, this is of course a take, but you can see very plainly that Alec Baldwin not only pulls the gun out very hastily and clumsily, but has his finger directly on the trigger, horrible trigger discipline, points his finger directly at the cinematographer, his, the, the, the barrel of the gun. Alec Baldwin not acting like an innocent man here, by the way, people have been approaching Alec Baldwin on the street in New York, asking him about this. Does this seem like an innocent man to you? Alec Baldwin, uh, like, ready to actually rip this man's face off just for asking questions about the murder he committed. You. What brings you to New York City? I asked you to leave. Mr. Baldwin, why, who, who's, who's here? I asked you to go away. Please go away. Uh, this is not, this is not anyone's private home. Are you, this is not an <laughs> this is public property. Go away. <laughs> who's on a sidewalk? Did you really not pull the trigger? <laughs> Do you believe it went off without you pulling the trigger? Was it a malfunction? <laughs> Alec Baldwin has, I mean, a gallows humor here, honestly. I'm not trying to laugh at this horrible misfortune. Somebody died because of Alec Baldwin. At the time, special prosecutors in New Mexico, who are big time Democrat, obviously big time, like absolute lunatic Democrats, said they reserve the right to recharge Baldwin. This decision did not absolve Baldwin of criminal culpability. Charges may be refiled. A report in August of this year confirmed that the gun had not been modified. Baldwin has yet to comment. He always maintained that the fatal accident bears no responsibility. The film's armor, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, also is charged with involuntary ma manslaughter. Her trial date is next February. The movie's assistant director accepted a plea deal on a charge of negligence and use of a deadly weapon. So everyone else is getting charged, but not Alec Baldwin. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Interesting. So this is Hayana Hutchins right here. Uh, a, a tragic, a tragedy, obviously. A horrible thing to have happened. That, that she lost her life. And Alec Baldwin, uh, uh, interestingly here, um, and is, <laughs> this is the moment that he finds out that Hyanna Hutchins had died. And there you go. There's the old, there's the actor. Amazing how he didn't charge across the desk and try and strangle someone. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, it seems like Alec Baldwin's the guy who's going to be strangled out by lawsuits here. They're, everyone from the set is suing now Alec Baldwin. The scenarios that we are exploring, and it is likely that that's what happened. There are now two lawsuits citing unsafe working conditions on the... That that was, by the way, the district attorney, the like raving leftist district, district attorney. New Mexico is a big-time Democrat state. A bunch of losers and freaks and lunatics live in New Mexico. Uh, uh, that was the district attorney saying, like, yeah, there was a real bullet that was put in Alec Baldwin's gun and he fired Set, both named producers, including Baldwin. I was told that the camera crew and both of the second ACs and camera utility had quit because of safety issues and other issues related to their working uh -oh. conditions. Baldwin has previously called the shooting a one in a trillion incident, defending the production as a well-oiled crew. But in his latest interview, reflection. Is this the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, I, I, I think back and I think of what could I have done. Alec Baldwin there in his first sit down interview. Okay. So what could you have done, Alec? What, what could you have done? The Trump curse is back on. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, Alec Baldwin is a raving absolute lunatic uh, against Donald Trump. He played Donald Trump on Saturday Night Live and, uh, Donald Trump being asked by Candace Owens, Hey, it, is Al Paul going to go to prison for this? Is he going to get arrested? I don't know. Look, he's been trouble from day one. He did not me. He did the imitation of me for years. I thought he was you terrible. imitate him. Well, no, I thought it was just, yeah, that wouldn't <laughs> be hard. Uh, I thought he did terrible. I thought he was terrible at it. Uh, they have other people that do much better, but he's always trouble. I mean, he takes a gun. He said he didn't pull the trigger. And then the experts get on and say it's not possible that that particular gun can... It doesn't work that way. In other words, it can't happen that it works where you don't pull the trigger and it just happens to go off, okay? I don't think that was a very good interview for him. Really I just say this, he's always trouble. He goes out to talk to the press. 
Nobody gets treated worse than me by the press, and I'm very hostile to them likewise. But I don't end up in fistfights with him on the street. I mean, there's something wrong. I think he's crazy. I think he's crazy, and maybe he'll be going to jail, and that will be a very good thing. Keep the rest of us safe for at least 18 months while Alec Baldwin is locked up uh, and hopefully bankrupted by the people who sued because some of them were, I mean, straight up killed. Some of them have other lawsuits against Alec Baldwin for their reasons, but listen, this is sick stuff. And if you're going to be, by the way, if you're going to like, Alec Baldwin is a big time, like anti-Second Amendment act activist. So he's making money off the guns, but he's doesn't take enough time. He's making money off of firearms in his Western, but he doesn't take time to learn how to use them in an appropriate manner to not kill someone. Sick. He's a sick puppy. I'm glad that they're recharging him. Uh, God bless. I, I heard that New Mexico was really strong on the Second Amendment. We're really concerned about the Second Amendment in New Mexico. Okay. But do then you drop the charges against Baldwin? At least they're getting it right this time. We'll see. We'll see. It's your boy Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya.